What's up, sucker? Once again, we're live. We're back again for the podcast. Um, we took a break last week. I, actually, we didn't plan on taking a break, but Josh um, was MIA. Oh, yeah, we did. Never mind. We did in the evening. That's right. I'm talking shit. But we're back once again with the What's Up Sucker podcast. I got a special guest over here, my on and off, sometimes manager, uh, uh, host, uh, sometimes producer, uh, and good friend, uh, Vance Bradford. What's up, Vance? What's happening? What's happening, E? What's up, man? What you, what you got going on, man? I see you're, you're a busy man nowadays. I see you running around with uh, Brother Man from uh, Martin a lot. What are you, what, what you doing? What you got in the works with him? You know, is it, or is it top secret? Well, you know, right, right now, you know, we're getting ready to release it uh, here shortly, though. But uh, Release what? Uh, we got a little project we're working on there, uh, Edward. Um, you know, uh, Reginald Ballard, a.k.a. Bruh Man from the fifth floor. Hey, dude, go ahead and put that thing a little bit farther from your face so that we cannot hear you. Oh, okay, man. Let me okay. let me get that fist there. Yeah, Boom. There How go. we going? Are we right? Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> get a fist in the face. <laughs> So, uh, you know, his thing, his thing uh, on Martin was, you know, the sandwiches, you know, from the Serp sandwiches and the Hope sandwiches, the Wish sandwiches. So uh, we're going to go around the country, man, and he's going to be searching for that perfect sandwich. For the perfect sandwich? Sandwich, man. You know, that's, oh, that's, okay. that's, that's, that's bro, man, you know, from Martin, yeah. So. And so y'all are already filming episodes? Y'all got some already in, in the works and you're going to release them? Yeah, we... we uh, Actually, we're gonna start out with some, you know, clips, man. Some, uh, you know, uh, clips of him uh, 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 going around. You know, in, in San Antonio, Texas, was the first city he hit, man. So. Cool, man. Cause yeah, I, I know uh, Reg. You, I guess you hooked me up with Reg uh, a few years ago. It's mm-hmm. been some years now. Cause I did the joke joint with Reg did you? You know, a long time ago. Shit, and the joke joint's been closed about seven, eight years now, huh? I think, and then also, what was the uh, the place out on military? Uh, oh, the uh, Northwest Military. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the military makes it sound like the South Side, bro. You can, there's a big difference between <laughs> no, Northwest Man. Military and South Side Military. Uh, well, <clears throat> what was the name of the Big, place? big difference. Las Chiladas. There you go. There you go. Yeah, when I, I did Las Chiladas mm-hmm. with, with Reg, and he took his mom. He took right. His, yeah. Right. So we're going to do something, too, man. We're going to actually, uh, we're going to shoot a baby doc. A what? A documentary. Oh, uh, baby doc. Yeah. Uh, I don't know all the, the terms. I didn't know if that was a term. Like, I don't know you know how the bros do. You know how uh, we do. Everything's got the baby D. We, we, say, we changing lanes. Oh, uh, yeah. But okay. uh, so we're going to shoot a, yeah, when I say baby doc, we're going to, you know, it's not going to be a full length, but it's going to be an introduction. What's a full, what's a mini? Because what's a full length? About two hours? I mean, documentaries could be anything. Well, it depends on how deep you go into. Yeah. So what's his, a mini doc? You're thinking like an hour episode or something? Uh, Well, we're shooting 30 minute episodes. Oh, so it's going to be like a series? It's going to be continuing? Well, yeah. Not the documentary, the, the but the searching for the perfect Okay, sandwich. I know that, but the documentary. Yeah. Yeah, the documentary's going to probably be a good 30 minutes to, you know, we may get an hour, have an hour, but that's, that's, that'd be probably be my. What's the documentary going to be about? Just Red's life? Yeah. yeah How he got know, from yeah, where he's, yeah. to where he's at now? From yeah. His, where's he the from? And he's from Galveston, right? Man, huh? He's from Galveston, right? From Galveston, Texas. Yes, sir. Born and raised. And, but I remember seeing him on Menace to Society. Right. He's the one in the back. Yard in that scene, he says, "I'm gonna say it, Vance." He says, "Man, he can't drink that." He says, "No, get a little nigga drink." <laughs> and then they, and then it, and then they, the mom comes out and catches him and says, "What the fuck is you doing, DJ or whatever? What's his name?" And probably beats the shit out of him. And he's, uh, yeah, but that, that was brother man. He he was yeah. thin too back then. Yeah. So I'm so glad you, uh, you know, specifically said that was brother man. Brother man was what the Martin character. B- created, uh, created, bruh, man, is Reginald's. So just bruh, b r u h, b r u h, bruh, yeah, bruh, man, bruh, man, from the fifth floor, and uh, and and he's a pretty established, a pretty well established comedian too. Yeah, he's doing pretty good, man. He's uh, it was it was crazy. That's how I kind of met him, man. Uh, doing comedy, doing well. You know, I didn't know I was uh, I was in Houston, and they had this. Uh, this club called the Hip Hop Comedy Stop, and on Thursdays they were doing like a replica of of the Apollo Night in New York. 
And so we was out there. I had a couple guys uh, from San Antonio. We went down there, and they was going to be on the show. Q? Huh? Q? No, nah, he wasn't Quinn this time. He wasn't Quinn. Who was it that you had from San Antonio back then? Big Lou. Big Lou. Big Lou had even had a, a Taco Bell commercial, <clears throat> man. Uh, uh, Never heard of Big Lou. Yeah. What year was that? Oh, man, that's back in early 2000, late 90s, early 2000s. Big Lou, did you ever hear a comedian in Big Lou? Taco what, Bell. What yeah. happened to Big Lou? Ah, <clears throat> uh, Big Lou, you know, he, he done a, quite a few things, man. We, we, uh, uh, but I know he ended up being a, a minister, and also I think he has a, might have a senior citizen type uh, development type, you know, homes for senior citizens. I think, I think that's what he's doing. Will he stop doing comedy though? <clears throat> well, I think he's still doing comedy, man. Mm. You you never stop as a stand up, man. Like I say, dude, as long as you you know can get on stage or you know you can be a stand up. I've seen some people stop. I, well, oh, I have seen a couple that have stopped. No, no, but yeah. you know what though, the ones that did stop mm. were never really doing anything successful. Like they weren't getting called back anyway. No one even noticed they stopped because because <laughs> no one no one was fucking calling them, you know. But um, stand up's not easy. Man. No, it definitely isn't. But everyone to be good, to be good. Everyone thinks that they can do it. Everyone when you see someone go up there and do it so effortless, effortlessly, and just look like it's just so simple, and the crowd is in sync, and then then they go, I can do that, mm-hmm. and you're like, Yeah, you can do it but will you do it and when you do it is it, it's gonna take you a while to get to there you know and people just think nah, nah. but it's it, ooh, it's brutal when you come off and then you're like what happened well i think one of the uh you know biggest things is uh you know like you sitting around on the couch and just you know before the, before the lights camera action and you had you know uh josh laughing but you know some of them things you were saying you know you know that builds that confidence, you know. Josh is really building your confidence as a, by laughing at that at the bullshit you were saying. You know? Oh, really? Is that what was going on here? <laughs> I, 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 I so they know. get that false confidence, man, <laughs> on that that couch comedy. You know, you're with your partners, but then you know uh, it, it, it's it's really amazing. But if you can trans, you know, take that from the couch to the stage, yeah, yeah, and to get people to listen and keep their, you know, keep them. Well, uh, uh, it's a, it's a skill. As a matter of fact, uh, last night I went to uh, Bernie, to one of the owners of Black Rifle Coffee Company's houses, and he's got this multi-million dollar compound over there, dude. And uh, he, uh, he has they do a comedy night there now, dude. They're doing. They're doing a comedy night there, and last night was his first time going up and doing comedy. Who? The owner. owner? One of the owners. And he's a young dude. He's in his 30s. Maybe, you know, late 30s maybe, but mid to late 30s, but he's still in his 30s. He's young. That's young me. And uh, he went up there for his first time, and they're all ex-military dudes. There's a, he had this crowd of people, all these. It's a, it's a great crowd, dude. You see, And then he had all these dudes from Austin and and – that because they're not getting, I guess they're not getting the the stage time they want in Austin, and so he's giving them a chance to come out there to his place. He's got a little club on his property. Wow. Yeah, with the stage and the bar and nice. everything. Yeah, it's it's nice. And uh, he uh, he and I was I was there to critique him pretty much. That's what he what he asked me and Justin just to, to watch him and then give him some pointers. And uh, and what I got from him is that he. The stuff that he wrote and tried to make funny wasn't that. But then towards the end, right at the end of his set, he said some stuff that you could tell like came from the heart. Like he was saying how he hated cyclists in the road when he's driving and he wants to kill these people. And that's when he got into like regular conversation. And at the end of it, I said, okay, come here. When he was done, I said, hey, dude, uh, what was your closer, dude? I forgot. And he was all like, yeah, it was that about the cyclist. I go, that was it, bro. You really hate fucking cyclists on the road, don't you? He was like, yeah, I fucking hate. And I go, see? That that was it. That came from the heart. That shit came from the heart. The other stuff was just some stuff you wrote and were trying to make it funny. So I go, that's where you need to find. That's your couch guy. That's where you need to find. That's the dude in the garage that's kicking it that you need to find mm-hmm. and be him. Right. And that's what's hard to do. And it's taken me a long time to find it. This weekend I found it. I did, you know, I did all weekend with Carlos Mencia at the LOL. That's funny you said that too. He uh that you found it, you know, man, because I remember when you first started, when I first saw you, 
When I first saw you was in that competition. Mm -hmm. and uh, That was and 15 that, years ago at the LOL. Yeah, man. And uh, I saw you hanging around, and I was like, but I saw something different. I just said, man, and but I said, this dude here needs to be, if he can, you know, show him, can show him the funny, then I think he'd be good. Because you had good material. That's one thing. You had good material. It's I had just, two. I wrote two new sets each fucking round. Oh, well, see. I, I didn't I, even I, I didn't know. That. Everyone just, else did the same shit again. Yeah. I didn't know because I was so new. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even, you know. Well. I just, I just knew it was something different about you, man. And uh, uh, so, you know, I could see when you're telling the story now how you pull that guy over from the, the coffee guy. Uh-huh. To telling them and giving them to where you were, you know, and and like you said, you have really grown, man. I, yeah, yeah, I, and that's good, man. It's it's uh, you know, some cats don't take it serious and know that that comedy is a craft. Is is if you take it serious, man, you can win. You can, and then you can just make people laugh because that's nothing, man. I'm talking about laughing at a live comedy show where where you got good comics and you're laughing. I mean, gut busting. That shit is off the chain, dude. Oh, yeah, that, That's dude. so much fun, man. Everyone there, and, and people that have nothing to do with comedy, that are just looking at it from a total different perspective than what we're looking at it from, have a great time. They come out so excited after the show, like all weekend, dude. All weekend, I had great sets all weekend long. I didn't have a bad set where I went, oh, man, I dropped the ball on this one. Some I had to cut a little bit shorter than others, and some, I, I, some I, there's stuff I wish I would have said. And, you know, but I didn't get to, but everything I did went boom, 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 boom. And everyone after the show had a great time, dude. Everyone. Carlos kills it, dude. Even, you know, the bad rap that, that he gets, though, dude, that dude's my friend. And the reality of it is that dude kills it, dude, on stage. He crushes, dude. The crowd loves him. Everyone's lined up to meet him afterwards. And if they didn't, they would have just left and said, fuck this dude. That's why they, people have said what they said about him or whatever. But he's really a likable dude. When, when you meet him and on stage, the stuff he says, is it's funny. And it's, he's got his intelligent stuff and his deep stuff and his st stupid, corny stuff, you know. And, but it all meshes together for the crowd to go, I love you. Afterwards, they're like... We met you over here and we love you. Like, he's got fans for years Come on, out there. Come on, man. Come on, For dude. decades. Like I said, man. For yes. Decades, dude. Yeah. They'll, uh, and the thing about <clears throat> it is you just got to keep engaging them and, you know, and keep, you know, giving them some good material, man, some good stuff, put out some good projects. And just his comedy, just him being a, a road comic, man, just, you know. Yeah. You know, being road. that road comic and then, I, you know, it's, I feel like uh, for me, I have to be moving around like like a lot of people don't have a social life outside of comedy. They just that's all they know is comedy. I just like do comedy, you go to the open mind, you go to the open mind, did you go to that show? Did you watch the special? Did it? and it's and everything is just comedy. Everything, everything. And I, I I don't live my life like that, dude. Like I I'm a man of many hats, bro. When I get off that stage, it's badass to do that, but then I want to go ride my skateboard. I want to go ride my BMX bike. I want to go ride with my friends in, in the Harley. I want to go hang out at the tattoo shop. And, you know, I want to go watch the UFC fights. I, you know, just want to go out and play pool or play hold'em, you know, with, with my boys, you know, and, and do all that other stuff. With, and a lot of other comedians don't do that. Mm. So when it comes to, to getting people to your show... I know all these people personally that go, hey, well, we hang out with this dude. Because I've noticed even like a lot of my friends that are probably way funnier than me and doing way more stuff than me. But when it comes to a show, they don't fill it up here because they don't have any social life. If you don't know him from comedy, then you don't know him at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you could just say, oh, I know that dude from multi things. Handball. I go to the handball court too, you know. And so I think that and that's where I get my material from. Now that's a, that's a you know, but really get, you got to learn how to market yourself. Dude. Yeah, I know. And with so, this social media, it's so uh, it's it's so easy to feel like you ain't doing shit. <laughs> God damn! Because all you have to you can meet one dude that's like, oh, I got I got two hundred thousand followers yesterday, and you're like, fuck, dude, you know, and they're just I'm this and that, I'm this and that, and I'm like, I don't want to do that though. But remember, dude. You know. <clears throat> You can have all them millions of followers, man, but if they don't look at you 
and and able to put their hands in their pocket and pull out them dollars. Yeah. You know, that if they don't feel that towards you, then you know all that mess don't don't don't, don't mean nothing. Well, you, you know, know what I've seen though hey. with uh, a lot of these people that were, I guess, there's a little. I don't know if you want to call it an era, but maybe uh, what would you call it, Josh? A um, a time. This is when there's a lot of uh, influencers that got their chance to be comedians and go or whatever they're, you know, they're to do their to get on the stage and do whatever they're doing. And they got that first run, and the second run is cacahuates because they're like they're like, mm. I saw them and it really wasn't. Yeah, but and, that 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 happens in, in in regular life too. Like your 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 comic, you know, uh, you know, they get their first special in, and then that sophomore, yeah, that second one, is, ooh, you're like, ooh. Uh, you yeah, know? like yeah, the first one they had just bam, 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 banger after banger after banger, and then the second one's up there preaching. Yeah, see that they're expectation, getting kind of... yeah, and that's hard to that's hard to match. But yeah. but the thing is 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 consistency. If you can stay consistent. You know, well, okay, you know, that sophomore maybe didn't hit, but that third one? Well, when it's your freshman one that doesn't hit because they came off the being uh, not on stage. They were really at home or doing their influencer type stuff, you well, know? They shouldn't have no special. That's it. it. The thing is. You well, can, not, you not a special. It's not even a special. I'm just saying they're just doing so much stuff on TikTok and Instagram and all this uh, and Facebook that they get booked at comedy clubs. And then you go see them and you go, uh. Like, all right, I guess. You know, let me just look at you on TikTok then because that's where you might... 30 seconds of you is better than a whole hour of you, you know, whatever they're doing. And that and the, the second run for a lot of these people has been caca. And it kills the crap, man. It kills it, man. Uh, it kills the game. Woo. It kills the game, though. But you know what? There's so many good comedians out right now, too. There is so many people going out there, you know, like, you know, Hans Kim and... Shane Gillis and uh, um, even you know Andrew Schultz, uh, Theo Vaughn, you know Joe Rogan, uh, they're all out there, dude. Those dudes are out there, fucking really. F no, but they're packing in places and people loving their shows. Nice. They're fucking loving, and that's you know whether I like their show or not really doesn't matter. If they're getting other people to pack in that place and they have a following, what the fuck doesn't matter what I think. I'm just glad that people are going out again. And spending oh. money, even if I think, oh, that dude sucks. Hey, I'm saying that about someone. That dude sucks, but he sells out all weekend. I'm glad. I'm not going to go like, oh, fuck, dude. That fucking sucks that that dude that sucks had all these people go to a show. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with him. I'm not going to be mad. Try to ride that way. Oh, man. I'm glad, dude. I'm like, you know it, what? If, if I think that dude sucks, and that means I must think that I'm better than him. That means that if I'm better than him, then I should be packing in that show, too. Then there should be no excuse. Because people are going out. They went out there for him. So all it does is make, you know, it, it makes for, there's enough to go around. There is enough to go around and for people to share the wealth out there. And I'm, I'm just glad people are going out again and, and enjoying sold out comedy rooms. Right, right. And, you know, whole weekend that, you know, I, that girl, I didn't, I don't know what she does, but she's an influencer girl, Chona E. She was just at the LOL um, last weekend. And I met her for the first time at Israel's uh, benefit thing on Saturday. And uh, I just I introduced myself and she introduced herself and I asked her, hey, you know, how did your shows go? She said she had good shows all weekend long, you know. And that's good. She got, this is the first time she got a whole weekend, one Thursday, two Friday, two Saturday, one Sunday. And... At LOL? At LOL. Okay. And before that, she was just getting what I was getting. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a third, a Wednesday, then I, what did I get? A Wednesday, then I got a Thursday, then I got a Sunday. And uh, to headline. And so <clears throat> maybe I've done pretty good numbers on every time I've been out there. I think the lowest amount I got at the LOL was, was it 200? No, yeah, two something. That's nice. That's mad, dude. And I got three hundred. I got over three hundred or one. Man, that, that's 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 <clears throat> that's good build up, baby. That is, dude. That's a good <clears throat> I know. I, mean, uh, I know that the manager Kevin came up to me and was like, "Bro, you know you your your people drink." And I was like, "I know they're all on parole and probation, bro. They fucking <laughs> they got they're going back." So um, yeah, man, my crowd drank and ate. That that's one thing. Like with Carlos, ooh, the food and drinks don't stop coming out, dude. 
Those people are pissed when they get the bill at the end of the night, dude. Because <laughs> well, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling ooh, you, that dude, LOL bill ain't bullshit. Good stand up make you do that. You having so much fun, man. And then if it's a, if you if you're a dude, man, a single dude, and want to uh, going out and got a lady, you want to take a lady out. Oh man. yeah, so you take her to a good stand up, man. And, and uh, well, that's a dangerous yeah. one, though, dude. If they don't know and you take them in there blind and they say something that about, nah, nah. Well, you know, you, you got to know, know, know who you're going to see. I you know. know. Like yeah. I, I've gone to, I remember when Jackass came out, mm. so many girls that were totally offended by that. And I had a girl, a friend of mine, we went to see it three times and we laughed our fucking asses off, dude. It was so fucking funny. To, and I thought it was a, the funniest thing. It's stupid now. I don't even want to see it now. And then I'm older, but back then, oh, it was hilarious, dude. And she was fine with seeing some dude stick a car in his ass. And like when other girls would be like, oh my God, girls, you know, why don't we watch this for? So, and with some comedians too, I'm up there going, why are you going there, bro? Like you had it pretty good until you went there. See, that's that's a lot of times, so that's experience, you know, that's, that's knowing, you know, knowing, knowing. I it's guess. experience, man. Just being in the, in the you know, because you never know. A, a crowd, each crowd is different. Well, you, you know, know, and then I've had show. people. I think you might have even told me too uh, this, but Juan has told me multiple times to lose that brother night joke. And I know you've even said you're going to tell that joke tonight at places. Mm -hmm. But that joke, I have murdered with that joke. <laughs> right? Right? Have you seen? I've, I, I've fucking like literally. Ten people died at one of my shows, dude, because that it, that joke was so good. No. Uh, <clears throat> no, but I like this weekend when I did that joke, dude. I could see people were crying in the seats, dude, because I built up all the no, tags. No, you, you, it's it's a good uh, with more when I you know uh, more and more I listen. It's a good joke because you go both you hit both sides. You know, it's it's a yeah, it's a good joke. It's just uh, you know, it just it was good. I, it's it's a, it's funny. Like I told you that. I told you. I just you know that was at at, at uh, early in the game, but you you matured it. it it's yeah, it's how you say it too. You know, like like I love it, man. How you set, you know, from the cocoa butter to the to the, you know being in the parking lot. You know that there's that, so many yeah. tags going down. Tags. Go, yeah, and yeah. yeah, and you know Juan helped me milk that, even to the part where when I said and I wiped it off, and then I and then I walked out and I thanked him. I don't even know why I thanked him. Well, see that 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 right there is is how you do it, man. It, you know, everyone can't deliver that part. Yeah, and you do it. You do it to where it's like, <laughs> okay, motherfucker, well, you know. So yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's that's everyone can't deliver like that. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, deliver. It's, it's been a lot of it. years. That joke's been a lot of years in the making, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And, and uh, yeah, so I, I give you credit. Uh, so you've check. Worked it. You've worked it. Have you seen that that new um, cancel that they're trying to do? On that one dude, that comedian that was about to be uh, Trevor Noah's replacement on The Daily Show, oh. Hassan Minhaj. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Um, okay, I don't know. Me, bit. And, me and Carlos were having this conversation in the green room. He came up to me, and he told me about it because I didn't know anything about it. Man, so they didn't get, well, before you start, man, they didn't, they, my boy Roy Woods, he wasn't in the running for that? No. I don't know. No? Who's Roy Woods? He's been on there forever. Yeah. The black dude. He, I was just saying. I was just. Oh well, they said that went to the uh, the White House. Oh, I know who you're talking about. That's the name, Roy Wood. Yeah, yeah. that funny little black dude yeah. that makes all them faces. Yeah. 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 Um. No. Well, they said that Roy. this dude, this this Hassan Minhaj, was the front runner mm -hmm. to be um, uh, the to take over Trevor Noah's spot because he's retiring after seven years. So Carlos tells me um, this weekend, and we're in the green room. He's like, "Hey, man, how do you feel about them going after this dude?" And I was like, "What are you talking about? I don't even know anything about it." And then he just Check it out, you know, and tell me what you think about it. So I, after Sunday night, after the, or Monday night, I got looking on the computer and reading up about it. So apparently they're trying to, they took this dude's shot at being on the, the, the host of the, the Daily Show because they say he's a liar. He's going on stage and he's lying. And when Carlos said that, Carlos said, with the country because he's lying, I said, hold up, man, that's what we do. We go up on stage and we lie. We fabricate shit. We make up all kinds of bullshit. You know, those rats weren't really lifting weights at, Ron, at Juan's house. You know, <laughs> I, I didn't meet another man too, really, in prison, you know, like that. I, I you know, um, all that shit, you know, uh, if we make it up. You, you find um, a story and you embellish it and exaggerate it. And you make it yours and you go, 
what would have, what could have, well, maybe happened to someone else, and you tell that funny story, right? Well, this dude, they're, they're saying because he's Indian, and he was saying that he experienced so much uh, Indian uh, people being racist against him, racism, and that he got a envelope mailed to him with some white powder. He opened it up and some white powder spilled out onto his two- or three-year-old daughter, and they had to rush her to the hospital. Him and his wife had to rush her to the hospital, and they didn't know if she was going to live or she was going to die because they thought it was anthrax. Right. And he t- I guess he tells this bit during his set, like, real serious, and he gets the crowd, you know, real deep into how what he experienced. Mm-hmm. And then they fact-checked him. The New York Post fact-checked his fucking story and said, no, that, that never happened. What happened was he said he, he did get an envelope, it did open it up, it did have white powder, it fell, but it fell on his table and his daughter was sitting at the other end. And in his head he said, man, what if she was sitting right here and it fell on her and this is what... So yeah, you do that. But they're going after him and they're saying no because he's a liar and uh, people, can't, people can't trust him. People can't trust him to tell the truth and, that's where, and if he's going to be the host of the, the Daily Show, that's where people get their news source. A fucking comedy show, bro. And this, dude, that's bullshit, bro. Man. That is man, bullshit. Just here just hey, Vance, you're going to get away that. from the microphone again. I'm, just, um, I'm sorry, man. I'm yeah, just sitting here. Yeah, that's bullshit, dude. That's bullshit what it's come to, dude. You get your fucking news from a comedy show? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Man, that's just like, what's that What's that dude that's running around in the, in the, in the, in the Senate? Where is it? Uh, the liar, dude? Yeah, the dude with the glasses. He said he's been... Uh, 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 <laughs> <clears throat> uh, got these degrees. Uh, oh, the dude, the Los Santos. Yeah, that 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 that's that dude, man. It's right, just, Santos, right? In a, in the highest place like that, man. And, <laughs> like they weren't gonna check and, we, and see and, if and, you had a GED, and, my Oh man, and, and, but we let him. We still let him. You know, he's still doing his thing. He's still going to work every day. Hey, he's every smarter day. than all them. He tricked all them politicians. <laughs> he should be. A, and, I guess now they just can't say they have egg on their face, man. They cannot. Take a L, no and he does. They he's will. still not backing down. Yeah, he's not at all, dude. And he's still talking. About he's going to work for the uh, American people, dude. Man, it, 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 it's crazy, man. It's crazy, dude. Yeah, that's that's what it's come to. And but that's crazy. How I don't know how these dudes can stand there and know that the shit's coming. Like it'd be like me if I fucking threw my hat in the race, and they're like, "You think they're gonna find out you've been to prison?" I'm like, "Nah." <laughs> Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Yeah, don't oh, say dude. anything. To be like, Mr. Hernandez, the first debate boy, I'd be out there getting my ass <laughs> roasted. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, like, how'd you find that? Because it's everywhere. Yeah. Anyone can find it. But, but they, you know. It they, turns out the dude didn't have any degrees and all this shit either, right? Like, he was lying about his education and stuff. And then, you know, and then, and, but they don't want to cancel him. But they want to cancel a comic. A comic. A comic, yeah. A comedian. Come on, man. It's man, gone too far, dude. You know, dude, dude they, it, you know what? We need we need someone in office that is closer to our age that gets it. That fucking gets it. And the closest I feel that we've gotten to someone that kind of got it, that seemed like they were fighting for us and just fighting because was Bernie Sanders. Yeah. But I listened to him. You got to understand, too, man. It's not just. But, I mean, that's the only one that got close. I didn't say he was the, the voice of, yeah, that's the guy. But, I mean, that's the closest I've ever heard anyone just sounding like, yeah, that dude sounds okay. But it, I haven't really heard anyone been like, yeah, that's the guy, dude. Like, fuck, yeah. We need someone like that. I haven't seen that dude yet. Is there? They keep talking about DeSantis. Oh, and he's no. a piece of oh, crap, right? Oh, no. Heck no. Yeah. And then they talk about this new Indian guy that's that's jumping in there now too. That business dude, yeah, I, I I wouldn't go that route. No, him either. I haven't really seen, but I just keep them hearing about them bringing up his name. And then there's some Asian guy too, right? That's right. Isn't there an Asian guy, Yang? That's that's pretty. They said that he sounds like he's got a pretty <laughs> level hit, uh, Wang or Ch- Wang Chung. <laughs> hey, see, dude, I don't, you got me making fucking Asian. Hey. It don't matter. It's as crazy as it is, man. It's crazy, dude. I mean, but but Andrew my Yang. thing. Huh? Andrew Yang, Andrew Yang yeah. And, and there's also uh, RFK. Who? Oh, yeah. Well, I heard he withdrew. Oh, no, no, no. 
He just went to an independent party. So he's just creating his own party. Yeah. He went next door. He said, fuck it. I'm going to rent the room next door and start my own party. The Democrats won't let him into their party? So what do you mean? How do, how do you not, if you're your own party, don't you get your chance to debate if you're running? So he just runs as an independent? You just get your name on the ballot, but you don't get to say anything? Well, that's some bullshit. But don't you got to be, you got to, don't you got to rank so many votes on the polls and then you got to raise so much money? I don't know. I, I, I've never ran for president. Right. You know, last time I tried to run, they to found out. To be on out. the debate, to be in the... Ross Perot? He ran as an independent in like 91? 88. Yeah. But he had some votes. But he was a billionaire. He had some votes. Yeah, well, see that? I can see that. Now, if they wrote that in, slid that in, nobody knew about it. So they made a law after that that you can't get in as an independent and be part of the process? You just have to put your name on the ballot and hope for the best? Yeah. What kind of fucking rigged system is that against that person? You know, now that makes it almost... I'm surprised. Huh? I know you ain't surprised of rigness. Oh, no, I'm just saying, but... Rigginess. Hey, rigger please is what they should... Rigginism. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, them riggers over there tripping, bro. Uh, <laughs> Think you didn't hit one. Boy, you Oh, tripping. boy, like that's a... Uh, the, the Migas joke that I have. <laughs> I just saw Vance's face at the back of the room. I was like, these are some Migas with attitude. Um, with <laughs> woo. No, but uh, they really like, so they're making it almost impossible for someone to say, we, we need to change so much But from these two people that are beefing. It's like we're in a civil war right now with the, the Democrats and the Republicans. They're not going to fucking get along. Now they're so married to their party that no matter if their policies are good or bad, they just have to go against them because that's their gang. It's you know, it's their their crip and blood, bro. Man, and they they stay stuck to it. So when when a, a fucking Latin king comes around from the other side and tries to get in on the mix, they're like, nah, step back, bro. We got this, you know. So you can't that dude can't even get in, and so they, they need to leave room for this dude to shoot at someone too. They're all in cahoots with each other. How are they in cahoots when they're well those two parties are in cahoots, but they're keeping everyone else out of the cahoot. They just they just fight and have a, a diversion where you looking this way, looking to the left, what's happening on the right is getting all the money making made. They just making sure everybody get their money. That's it. That's it. Did they you vote? Sure. Yesterday was was it, uh, Yeah, I voted, but I voted early. And man, those propositions but and they, they said nothing about that just shut up. I'm talking about the one in the city the, uh, uh, for the property taxes and all that. And, uh, did you read a, uh, Did you read all who, of them or what? No. I mean, who, who does? I don't know. No, I thought maybe you read up before you went to vote, like what yeah. this and that is. I didn't, I don't know what any of that yeah. shit is. What is, so what I'm are some way, of them? I'm on the other side of the hill. See, like that cyclist right there we watching? Yeah, that's I'm like on you. The downhill, yeah, he's down going downhill. So that's yeah, so what you can see him eat I'm shit. Good. That's gonna I'm be good. you going down the hill too, huh? <laughs> eating shit down one of them hills. Nah, I ain't going down that fast. I'm just cruising. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, cruising, no, man. Vance yes. don't do nothing fast. Nothing I can do. I don't. Except probably take a shit. It's, it's the ones that's behind us. It's the kids. Those kids that's behind us gonna catch it. So when when, when is the next election? Ryan. Is next year, 2024, right? Oh, uh, yep. god dang, dude! Mm -hmm. And by and, and you know what? Hey, dude, I don't mean to uh, offend you here, but you're probably gonna take it as offensive. But what the fuck has Kamala Harris done? What she could? I don't know. What does that mean? Nothing. I mean, well, what did you want her to do? What, I don't know. What, but just be what, a little what, bit what more. Did, and, what did Biden do when it, when he was when he was vice president? What did I don't know? No, 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 no. We're talking about right now. Where I can, we're not going back to all the history of what. Well, did, I'm just what, saying. No. What what has she done? Really, that's an honest question. What has she done? Because she kind of faded. back. I thought she was going to be out there making a name for herself. The first well, see, woman vice president. She's not out there I, making. I a thought name, she was going to be like in she's the. Doing some things. It, I haven't really heard much of her though. She kind of just stays. Well, that's in the that's back. mainstream media. Uh, uh, media not covering it. There's a lot of things that's going on that that's not being covered. E? Well, I know a that. Lot of, a lot of a lot of major stuff. What is she doing? 
Huh? What is she doing? Is all I'm asking. What is she doing? You keep being vague, but what is she doing? Well, I mean, I'm not trying to be never talking about being vague. She was on uh one of the mother shows the other day explaining uh a cooking uh, show or what? Like she's working on the uh the abortion uh uh the abortion fight. Uh she's what is she working fighting on for? the oppression for voter what, rights. What is she fighting for the abortion to for uh, abortions to be accessible to people again? Yeah, the women so women can have uh, the abortion, right, uh, the right to have own, an abortion again, right? Yeah, they have the yeah, yeah. have the right over their bodies. Yeah. It's just more than just that, you know. Well, I know that. No, I'm just saying. To... I'm just saying. What is her stance on where is she fighting? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it though. But I mean, I'm just not like I'm always looking for it. But I yeah, just haven't not heard. Covered by the mainstream, you know, uh, media. They, they cover what they want to cover. Like they say, it's uh it's, it's, well, damn it! She's supposed to be out there fucking peeling out in the fucking front yard and trenching yards and throwing fire bombs in people's windows and fucking stirring shit up, dude. And when she leaves, I'll be like, "Damn, that was Kamala Harris, man. She fucking came through like a fucking Viking and made her mark and made a, a change." You know, she was supposed to Rosa Parks this shit, and I just haven't seen her do a damn thing really. I wanted to see her do something. I voted for her. I voted for fucking Biden. And believe me, I didn't like Biden either, but I've, I hated Trump. That's all I knew. I, did, I didn't like Biden, but I hated Trump. So I, and, but for well, all you people. The only thing Trump is just for the rich and to get richer. Well, you know, I, I, so, it, and all that, that, that Trump, I didn't, I didn't like Trump when he was on The Apprentice. So it didn't have anything to do with his presidency shit. I didn't like him from before that. I've always thought that dude was a piece of crap as a person. Well, so. he's, he was a, uh, a businessman. A yeah, I hate him back shrewd. then. Yeah, that's shrewd. How they are. That's 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 that that's that mentality you got to develop. Well, this is what I think of that. Level. You know, you start caring about folks, man. That means you're sharing. You can't reach that number one status caring about folks. You got to step on some folks. That's what it is. That's all he do. <laughs> step on motherfuckers. It's weird how people yeah, just got so attached one. to that dude, man. They all getting it up. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at fucking Hunter Biden, that bullshit. Getting on the Democrat side. Yep. They all getting it, man. And why did, man, that's crazy that Hunter Biden is running around like losing coke in the White House or whatever, leaving laptops with fucking all this shit on. Like, what are you doing? You're trying to get caught, motherfucker. Or you're really whacked out on drugs and you're just fucking that off. Where you can't, you know, you never keep track of shit. You know, people that are all fucked up on drugs and you're like, look at this motherfucker. At it again. Doesn't matter if they're trying or not. You know, they're just always fucking up. <laughs> and that's probably, that's who he is, I guess, huh? Hey. That see, sucks, man. dude, to be the president of the United States and your son just won't stop fucking up, bro. <laughs> God, dude, that's got to be frustrating. That's as a it, yeah, that's just it. That's, that's, that's. <sighs> That's no matter what. I mean, but it's know, not the it, president's fault yeah. that that if his son's a fuck up. But it is his fault if he's throwing him fucking jobs and knowing his son's a fuck up and sending him out. You know, you just be like, "Hey, bitch, you're on your own." You know, I got a fucking world to run over here and shit. Like shit, my son, he fucking up. He on his own. I'm not even the president. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, but hey, at least he ain't giving up on him, though, man. No, I ain't so giving up on dad. That's who Biden. Yeah, Biden. Stand there through thick and thin. Oh yeah, yeah. And that you got, yeah. I mean that that is that's what other people yeah. don't see. They oh, he's sniffing kids. He's a fucking pedophile. You know, like what? He's just a fucking weird old man. <laughs> he's been in politics too fucking long, and it you don't even know. All how that should have uh, you know time time limits on it, man. <clears throat> All them jobs up there, man. You know. How old is Biden? 80? 81? No, he's 70 something, isn't he? Is he in his 70s? Uh, and Trump is what? Is he 80 yet? Slow thumbs over there. Huh? And Trump is. is Trump 77? Youngster. And they don't say nothing about uh, Trump's age, they're always on Biden's age. Well, because he's having issues with his age. Some people, Trump, Trump's like a fucking jack in the box head who still can talk shit to, with the best of them. Biden's over there going blah 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 blah. You know, you don't know. And then he's falling into the bushes and upstairs and off of bikes and walking Ooh. the wrong way and just like so. Yeah, there's a lot of things he's doing differently from Trump. Trump's still on his fucking. He thinks he's on fucking wilding out still, dude. He's just fucking roasting people, dude. Man, 
and they gonna get away with it and ah, oh, dude, that night they sleep, just pass on. That's <laughs> no, yeah, that's crazy. Not everyone can get Bernie made off. Wow, I mean, what? And Bernie died of cancer right in prison. Yeah, that motherfucker got lucky, huh? Well, I mean. What I mean, what are you gonna do? You never can prove what this this dude has so much money, and I guess he's been in New York for so long doing what he does. He knows powerful people. His dad knew powerful people before that, so they come from generations of pulling strings for each yes, other. Sir. So right now they're yanking fucking cords and ropes to save this motherfucker. He's trying to get every fucking. Str- but you know what? Though at the same time. If he doesn't stop just mouthing off, they're, they're uh, not going to. Yeah, they're, they're just not going to be able to save him anymore. Yeah. They're just yeah. all gonna. They're gonna fucking step back, and it's gonna be like a, a, a mobster movie when they all the mob just steps back off that one and says, "Hey, I don't know. Why do you want to take chances? <laughs> you know." And then everyone says, "Get rid of him. Get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, get rid of him." And then Trump's gonna get locked up, and then they're gonna find find him hanging in his cell because he committed suicide. Wow. You know, hey, I, I can dream, can I? No, that's a great <clears> ending. <throat> we hope you write it. Yeah, but I mean, that's it's happened to others. You in powerful positions that um, rubbed elbows with him. Man, that power, someone, you know, it's that's the fear is losing the money and the power. That's the two fears they have: money and power. And and what do you think, Clinton? Still, like they talk, Clinton. They always throw Clinton in the mix and. And Hillary, do you think they're still sitting in there like calling on like everyone and Obama's people still think Obama's the president. He's in the white in the basement in the White House calling the shots, bro. That's nah. what Obama Obama's in the basement of the White House right now calling the shots. That's I what I think Obama got his little bank that they allowed enough that he Well, got. they all have their little bank and, and it ain't a little it. bank. He ain't doing nothing really. He ain't doing nothing. Dude, if you watch do you watch you know who Jordan Klepper is? No, who's that? That's a dude that was on uh I think the Daily Show. Um, a tall, thin, white dude, comedian, I guess, too, and he would go out to the Trump rallies and ask him all these questions and make him look like fucking oh, okay. idiots. Yeah, okay. and uh, a couple times. And there, there were some people that have, I think multiple people have said, we know Obama's still running this country and uh, Biden's just his puppet, you know, and shit like that. And they really fucking wholeheartedly believe that shit. There's some people that still believe that Trump is president. There is, right, Josh? No, not that they even got the election taken, that they believe he's still the president of the United States and that it was never properly turned over and that he is still the president. Huh? What about it? Really? Have you heard that? I haven't, I haven't. really. You just trying to start some conversations because Michelle, for the, for those of you who can't hear, because Josh been is saying like, that a long time that but, Michelle Obama is going to run for president, but she's never been in politics besides her husband being the president. She was never in politics before that, was she? Was she an attorney or something? Right? She's an attorney. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that doesn't mean she's in politics. I got friends and attorneys that aren't in politics at all. I know. I'm not say I'm I'm just saying, but she wasn't. I'm just wondering where she would stand. But you know, she has the Obama was president for for two terms, right? Yes. So she's got eight years of knowing everything. Well, I mean, eight years is a pretty good run at a job. Well, well man, I'm telling you, the thing about it is and nobody going to whoever come in they they won't have the knowledge or even the, the the clout to do anything with this you know having to deal with the people overseas having dealing with these world these world leaders out here oh yeah yeah dude that's 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 you got to have somebody that can be able to deal with them cats who do you think you think Biden is dealing with them right now right the right way <laughs> i do mean or did you think Trump dealt with them better? But anytime, anytime we can let one senator hold back the military like that, 
That's crazy, man. That right there, that week. Wait, 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 what do you mean? What are you talking about? Tuberville. That one I, I don't know. That, that that's holding back all the promotions, man, for the military. Oh, that's these the thing. guys in the positions that to lead the country, to lead our military. Oh yeah, that's fucked up. That's man, that's that I mean, for someone that on that level, dude, for for someone like that to carry that out, you know, and 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 uh Kim and 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 uh what's the dude from Russia? Uh what's uh oh, Putin. Putin? And them cats, man, they, they, uh, and, and, and that looking at, at Yahoo, not Yahoo, that dude. Oh, the, them of dudes Israel? Don't play. The them dudes, they, they, you know, Prime yeah, Minister yeah, of Israel? United States, uh, 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 you know, they, they want you to cease fire. And, and not, yeah, man, please. You ain't over here fighting Hamas, Hamas, and, 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 and that's a, that's a, a enemy. We surely don't want that stuff to get over here, to go, to get crazy over here, dude. Hummus? That's I know evil. I hate hummus, dude. That, 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 that's some different evil, partner. That's some different. I know chickpeas. Anyone who eats chickpea evil, dip is fucking disgusting. You don't want, you know, so we don't want that on American soil. Fight. Ooh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, who, want that, boy. do you think, I mean, but do you think Trump dealt with them people better than Biden did? I don't think he knew what he was doing on the, on the <laughs> military did, side. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, he definitely wasn't he listening not, to it. His yeah. advisors were like, fuck, what's this maniac going to say? No, nah, he wasn't out on the, you know, he just wants the power. He just wants to be So, I mean, dictator. so do you think Biden's dealing with it's them well right now? Hmm? Do you think Biden is dealing with them well right now or he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing? He's holding them off. That's it? So I mean, who can, them off. I mean, we, we I would mean, have to get testing. see. That's where we would have to get somebody that was in politics for a long time to come in that has dealt with them before. That could to be the president to go look, man. Uh, you know, with the reputation, not just or some maniac. That's, I, I know, but he isn't the guy, though. I'm saying, but he's about to be out. I'm him. saying, but Biden's already got to be out. He's going to be out. So we, See, some, whoever's years. next, it's going to take years because you got to have that backup. These, it's the, it got to be the well, youth dude, coming it, up, man. You don't have they years though, place. but you don't have years to take right now with what's building up. You know, you need someone to go in there and try and calm this shit down at least a little, back to a bubbling instead of a fucking overflowing point. You know, the way that stuff is split up there, and 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 everyone's for their own agenda. Who who you trust? I know. Oh, I don't trust any of them. Jeffries. Who's Jeffries? The one that was uh, the Democrat that had for, the stroke. Uh, uh, I mean, the that was going. Uh, you know, they, he got some votes for the speakership, even though you know it was uh, controlled by the Republicans. a black dude. Yeah, dude named was, Jeffries. Yeah, I think I think I saw him. Um, mm -hmm. And what they just didn't want him. Well, he was. They ain't gonna put no Democrat in that spot. Republicans were going to go let that dude go. So, uh, yeah, it was going to be a Republican. It was going to be a Republican speaker, regardless of what, you know, they were just, it was a, it was a clown ship. I mean, you know, he got the votes, but they didn't do nothing. He got more votes than that other guy? He got more, at first, yeah, when they was voting, he got more first. votes than Jordan. And then they said, let's, uh, count, let's do it again. And then he than pulled Jordan. a Trump and said, yeah. count it again. Huh? And then he pulled a Trump and said, count it again? No, uh, no. Find me no, those other... No, he could have won, because you got to get so many votes, but... But, uh, uh, uh... And then, you know, it was like the... It was, you know, basically... Uh, but even the, some of the Democrats had to vote for this dude they got now. So... And they, is, it, is this dude any let, good? Let, let, you know, I don't know, man. They keep saying he's just as conservative as... Uh, he was for Trump. He was... He was one of the ones that oh, yeah. you know, said that, that. that the election wasn't, you know, wasn't right. The, the results yeah, that it was the stolen and all that yeah. shit. So, you know. Lock his bitch there. ass up, too. Dude, this is this is fucking crazy, the, yeah. how I, how stupid the people are acting all in there. Like, these are the professional leaders of our country representing our states and our cities and our government. And they're all acting like a bunch of fucking kids out on the fucking schoolyard themselves, you know? Crazy man, but, and it started. I it it really got ramped up with Trump saying, "Look how I'm acting. You can follow this lead too. Whoa. Look what it got me. Look what it got him. It got him followers. It got him votes. It got him the presidency. And so some of these people are trying to follow his lead. 
Yeah. No, that just tells you that. The, He's a reality the TV about. show. It's about reality TV and and social media. Because he was all over social media. Remember every tweet that Trump put out there? Got all kinds of fucking publicity, and then they were stupid, and then whatever he was putting people down all the time, you know, and it just just be that guy, and you might win, <laughs> right? I mean, it's already being being the safe guy gets you made fun of, you know, and get and gets you laughed at. What what do you? What? Josh is acting weird, dude. It's your producer, baby. Boy. I know, dude. You ever seen those weird producers like in reality shows in the background? They're like, no, don't put him in the fucking scene. He's weird. Yeah. That's what I have. A fucking good, throw it off man. producer. So, man, so what you got <clears throat> coming up? I'm, I'm going to switch it over and let me. Uh, uh, what? Now you got to interview me on my own damn podcast? On your own podcast, <clears throat> man. I like to keep up with you, man. You know, I don't always get a chance to get on Facebook. Uh, or uh, I, went, I went to your MySpace page, you know. My MySpace is yeah. kicking it, dude. Yeah, killing, man. Fuck yeah, dude. You know, yeah. I remember I started that my MySpace. I never put a picture up on MySpace. <laughs> I, I just got on there to look at it because I guess not long after that came Facebook, right? Um, but there was that. Remember, there was a Classmates. Classmates. Remember, Classmates was I mean, like from your high school. Yeah, yeah. I think you could try to. And then you could stay in touch with your classmates. That was, and then that kind of got absorbed by Facebook and everything. Yeah. yeah. But nah, uh, dude, I just think they, they hit me up to to do a show in uh, Corpus, November twenty fifth, to headline a new club in Corpus. Okay. It's on a rooftop. Mm. On a rooftop in Corpus. Okay. On a rooftop in this new club Ooh. in Corpus. Um, and they just hit me up yesterday to go over there, but it's it's Thanksgiving weekend. Mm. And I don't know what uh I don't know what my family has, has planned yet. I need to, I'm trying to find out but I need to let the let them know um probably today or tomorrow. Yeah, do big things during Thanksgiving. Mm. At a family dinner, we do. And my dad, my dad is in really um, unstable health. Mm. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, right now. <clears throat> so I kind of want to be around this Thanksgiving. I think um, a lot of the family is going to be in town from from out of town because my sister and my brother in law recently moved to Colorado, and then my other cousins in Colorado too. Now he got a job at Tweeter. And then when Elon Musk bought bought it, they fired him. And so, but he's still over there. You mean X? Huh? At X? No, no, no. Uh, Elon bought Twitter. X. Well, whatever. Well, he bought Twitter and then changed the name to X. So my cousin was working at Twitter, and when Elon bought it, and he got fired from X, I he, guess. When he was firing all them cats, huh? <clears throat> so yeah, so but uh, he's like he's probably coming into town, and then um. My uh, my other nieces and nephews are in Houston, and I guess they'll probably all be my my little brothers in Houston, um, and I'm guessing they're all gonna be in town this year. Um, so uh, you know, I might have to to just schedule it for another time. I want to do it. It looks like a, it looks like a really cool place. It's just the timing is kind of bad right now. Mm. And I'm still getting situated here in in the in the house. I still need to get my theater green and system all put up and um i know everybody's waiting on that man. i know man there's a fight this weekend <laughs> too man my birthday's saturday I'm about to be the big five five Ooh, double nickel in this piece hell yeah man, that's yeah crazy. I <clears throat> when that was the speed limit i know dude i know fucking and driving <laughs> with governor dude and he doesn't know that <laughs> governor that that maniac he got a speeding ticket yesterday too. He's like, I'm not gonna speed. I'm not gonna stop speeding. That's what he says. Well, you're not gonna stop speeding. He goes, No, nah, man. I think if I ever got rich, I would just speed everyone. They could stop me, and I just pay the ticket. Yeah, until they start arresting your ass, you know. Until <laughs> until you have so many tickets, they take your license away, and then you start going to jail. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let me change that plan. Yeah, that fucking maniac. But no, I just I, I have that, and I kind of cleared my schedule for the end of the year. Um, 
but I'll take some. I'll get some more gigs coming up, and um, I'm just gonna be kind of selective in what I do towards the end of the year. I want to. I want to be around the house a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of being a little bit spoiled. I know, but I guess right now I could do it, so I'll take it. I'll take. You know what, man? I, I enjoy the free time. I do enjoy the free time because it's a grind, dude. Every weekend being just. Uh, Especially when the shows go good, dude. Everybody wanted to buy. I did. I don't know how many tequila shots I did this weekend, dude. <laughs> oh, and a shout out to uh, um, the owners of Tequila uh, over on um, Bandera and Hillcrest. Um, what is it? Carlos, I think was his name. Uh, they took me out there and um, bought VIP treatment, dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, and it was cool. I had a good time, man. And then uh, I met this other dude, Edward, the owner of Don Romo Mexican Restaurant. Really cool dude, man. Uh, um, he has this restaurant. He wants to start doing comedy shows there and stuff. But I told Cliff. That's good. Now you opening up comedy rooms, man. Yeah, you, that's you what just, I'm just uh, pretty soon, man. Hey, you never know. Yeah, just you networking around the city, dude. Um Journey's a little different. <clears throat> yeah, every, everyone's journey's different, dude. Uh, my journey has definitely been different. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, um, those people, they went out, they all went out to the show this weekend, man, and uh, they treated me really well, man, running into those people that were just like, ah, we got you, and I was like, no. And, dude, it, uh, the tequila was flowing, dude. Mm. I did a... a Oh, and a shout out to Monique over at the comedy club for being a waitress, man. She's she's on it, man. She was badass. But it was a good weekend at, at the club. But um, I'm taking a break this weekend, dude. Well, it's my birthday, dude. I'm sure we're going to do something Saturday night. That's my birthday on the 11th. And there's a big uh, UFC fight. Oh, okay. I think, dude. So I'll probably check that out. Just chill, man. But I don't know. I'll, I'll post my dates. And also uh, check out my tattoo shop. Cthulhu Tattoo over on 402 East Travis. Um, yeah, go check out. I got Abel, Chaos, and Axel over there. They're really good artists. Um, and um, shit, people are starting to move around. It's starting to get a little bit busy out there, man. Go hit them up. Um, we're closed Monday and Tuesday, but they should be there the rest of the week. These, these dudes, are, they're on it, man. Nice. But, uh, yeah, so check it out. What you got? What you got going on? Man, uh, sitting back, chilling, making sure I'm breathing tomorrow, hoping God willing. That's it, dude? No, nah, dude, you yeah. Just on we... life support or what, dude? <laughs> God dang. <laughs> no, nah, man, we just gearing up for the new year, man, for 2024. Actually, uh, E, uh, you know, we're going to, uh, I'm going to go to Houston and, uh, you know, we're going to do some, like I said, we're going to start our baby doc. With uh, with Reg. That's a that's a a, a mini documentary yeah, for those people that documentary. don't know in the industry. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, yeah, the What's up, sucker podcast. Yeah, you know, uh, viewers and listeners. I'm letting what the suckers know what's up. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, so, man, we're gonna try to run and see if we can uh, connect up with Bum B. Bum B, the rapper out of the Houston. Rapper out of Houston. You know, he has that uh, burger spot. Oh so, no! Nah. Yeah, we're gonna try to see if I. can Go and connect with him. and What, to do a sandwich episode? Yeah, do a sandwich episode. Then Reg got uh, a couple um, schoolmates. They got a restaurant. Uh, then um, uh, Kimball Anders, who played with the Kansas City Chiefs, mm-hmm. Hall of Famer. They, 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 uh, they all uh, grew up as little kids from this youth center, you know. So we're going to do stuff like that, man. Just, just have fun with it, man. He's trying to turn... Uh, from eating meat to vegan, uh, vegetarian, not vegan. Let me back that up. Vegetarian, I guess. And where is this gonna air? Yeah, eat a pork chop, huh? Where is where is this gonna air? It's gonna air on on this uh, television network called Tan TV. Tan, that's T A A N, right? African American Network, where you have a local feel with a global reach. So it's uh, you know, it's it's gonna be built. It's building, it's growing, and you know, just this is you know, a lot thing I do on the side after been you know in management for those years out there. So where can they find Tan TV? 
They can just go on to Google Tan TV and then um, download the app, or is that well, what? Actually, go to the African American Network dot com. Okay. The African American Network dot com and poof, everything will show up. Uh, and then also Tan T A A N dot TV, also Tan dot TV, and it can be viewed on all Apple devices, um, all Android Android devices. Uh, Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, and the World Wide Web. All right, man. Well, cool. We'll check out um, Bro Man and his advance with his, sam- his sandwich search. And uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in and checking us out, man. I'll be on stage again soon. And uh, hopefully, uh, y'all will see me on my next podcast and, uh, next week. Peace. <laughs>